Hi, Bill Martino, Library Director, Clark County Public Library, Springfield, Ohio. I'm going to read Ronan the Librarian today, written by Tara Luby and Becky Caddy, with illustrations by Victoria Moderna. And we are reading this with permission from Roaring, Be uh, Roaring Brook Press, which is part of Macmillan. I'm off to a great start, but I think it's going to get better once I start reading. So, Ronan the Librarian. As a male librarian, it's nice to see some props here for the ferocious creatures that many male librarians are. So, Ronan, the librarian. Ronan was a mighty barbarian, a leader of his people. He invaded, he raided, and back home he traded. Ronan was legendary for finding the best pillage, gold, jewelry, weapons, and tools. Everyone wanted to trade with him until one raid went horribly wrong. What's this, he roared. This is worthless. Ronan tried to barter, but no one would make a deal. Barbarians did not read books. Ronan took the book home. Oofta, what am I going to do with this useless thing? Kindling? Origami? Toilet paper? Yes, that's it. The picture caught his eye. Ronan read the first sentence, then a paragraph, then a page. Before he knew it, he had devoured an entire chapter. He read until the moon was high in the sky. The next day, Ronan didn't meet the raiding party. He must have overslept, said Crom. Let's go wake him. Ronan, you dunga, what are you doing? asked Gunnar. I'm reading, Ronan said. This book is epic. Do you want to borrow it? Have you gone berserk? Barbarians don't read. We raid, said Helgi. His friends were right. Ronan tucked the book away and went raiding, like a good barbarian. But he couldn't stop thinking about the book. When the raid was over, he charged home and read straight through to the end. Ronan was hooked. He needed a new book. So he invaded and raided and read. He invaded and raided and read. Say it with me. He invaded and raided and read. That's a lot of books. It's like a shipmobile. It's not a bookmobile, it's a shipmobile. The fierce raider became a fierce reader, and soon his massive collection threatened to devour him. It's a lot of books. So Ronan came up with a solution to tame the beast. He built a library. Come, free, come read, it says here, free mead. He even threw a grand opening celebration, but barbarians do not read books. Crom judged the books by their covers. Too sparkly, too kissy, too wimpy. Gunnar valued brawn over brains. Reading doesn't have a point. Spears have points. Helgai was too busy to read. How could Ronan get his people to see that books were treasures? Oofta! I must conquer my own village, he declared. He picked up his book, held it high, and began to read aloud. The troll roared as Odin snatched the urn of Unkar and raced to his ship. The crew rode out to sea when out of the depth rose the terrifying Kraken. Odin held on to the urn for dear life as he drew his sword. See, he's reading. But the shipbuilders continued sawing. The blacksmiths didn't stop hammering, and the potters kept on spinning their wheels. It was a crushing defeat. At daybreak, Ronan went to his library. Oofta! I've been invaded! Doors split open. And raided! What was in the urn? What did Odin do next? Did he clobber the Kraken? It was his greatest victory yet. The library was full of barbarians. Ronan quickly laid down the law. He issued library cards. He recommended books, and he read to the younglings. It turns out, barbarians do read books. Ronan was a mighty librarian, a leader of his people. They invaded, they raided, they read. So, Ronan the Librarian. I hope you guys liked it. And if you do, you can always get it here at the library.
Take care.